Um, now, I just want to point out, this formula, um, this is not part of the course, but I still want you to understand the way it works, and I still want you to write it down, okay? So, this is a formula for working out the number of standard drinks that you have drank based on two different things. Let me give you the formula first. N stands for the number of standard drinks. You've got this funny number out the front, which people worked out with some crazy science. And then you've got two other bits that are relevant to it. You already know what they are. What do you think they stand for? Volume. V stands for volume, like how much, what quantity have you drank? So volume of drink. And what do you think the A is for? I'm joking. Amount of time. <laughs> the A, now this is just about working out how many standard drinks oh, okay. I've consumed. So A stands for alcohol oh. by volume. Okay. So it's going to be a, the percentage, right? Okay. So for instance, let's suppose, e.g., um, let's suppose you've drunk uh, you know, a standard schooner's what, four or seven or something like that. Uh, Mills and I've drank, uh, say, three of those, and the alcohol content was something like, say, oh, we said 5%. I think that like 400. Let's go uh, 1.2, like as in uh, 1.2 liters. So uh, this I should have said actually is in liters. And um, this percentage over here, this percentage, is not to be confused with blood alcohol content, which is always this like 0, 0.0 whatever, okay? It's a number like this, five or three or 13. It's a whole number and the percentage is included, okay? So I think we said alcohol is about 5%, okay? Sorry, beer is about 5%. Okay, someone got a number for me. As a percentage or do you? I write five, I write five, just the number, okay? Um, can someone write that out? I mean, five times 1.2 is six. That's about 0.8. I'm guessing it's something like four and a half. Between four and a half and five? 4.73. Okay. So you can see my, um, you know, like say three glasses, right? They were tall glasses. So that's why they've worked out to be more than three standard drinks. Okay. So it's really important that you get that a standard drink is not necessarily one glass, cup, whatever you're drinking out of. It can be something quite different based on concentration. Okay. So then what do we do with standard drinks? Do you remember I asked you to open up the reference sheet? I want you to turn to it now. And let's all look at it. Why does beer have all different shapes and glasses? Aesthetics? <laughs> <laughs> They're not out there to make it convenient for you to work out what a standard drink is. They're I was just, just hoping that they'd be like... Might be different. Like you have like the real markings. Yeah, different types of beer have different types of glasses. German beer is the massive thing. Yeah, no, I don't think it's their concern. I don't think it's their concern. It's our job as the to drink responsibly, right? That's why it says. Okay, you got the form and sheet there? Have a look. Scroll, scroll, scroll until you think you see something that is relevant. Oh, yeah, that might be useful. Okay, here we go. So this is on page, I think it's on page three. Page three? Okay. Now, lots of things to note here. Can you all just put your pens out of your hands and look at the formulas, plural, with me? Number one, there are two formulas. Why? Okay, as we pointed out, uh, whether you're a man or a woman, this changes how quickly your body goes through, okay? Now then you can see there's three numbers here. Three numbers, they are defined for you, okay? So N we've already worked out, that's the number of standard drinks you've had. H stands for hours, why does this matter? The longer you've been drinking, the longer your body has had the opportunity to go ahead and process that alcohol, right? Which is why it's take away that, right? Do you see as H gets bigger and bigger and bigger, one hour, two hours, three hours have passed, okay? Then this whole number is going to get smaller. It's going to reduce your blood alcohol content because your body's been actually trying to work with it. That's your liver's job, okay? Then you've got this M on the bottom, right? M stands for? Mass. Mass, right? This is why I pointed out, not, don't just call it weight, call it mass because the formulas are going to use it this way. And do you notice the M is on the bottom of the, it's on the denominator of these formulas in each case. What does that mean? As you get heavier, right, how does that affect the whole number? If the denominator is getting bigger. If the denominator is getting bigger, the whole number is getting smaller, right? So the more you weigh, the less it's actually going to have a total effect on your blood alcohol content, okay? 
And the last thing to point out is please be careful. There are two. The question will always tell you whether you're dealing with a man or a woman. Um, one of the most common errors in the HSC is that people just look at the first formula because it's the first one they see, regardless of whether it's a man or a woman. So they just kind of ignore, oh yeah, there's two different ones. Okay. What's the difference between them? It's just that number on the denominator, right? Do you notice the female number is smaller? What does that do? It means your blood alcohol content will be higher for all the same numbers for a corresponding male. Because can you see the denominator is smaller, so the whole number is bigger.